So to do a problem like this, um, remember, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do is we have to evaluate for the inverse of tan of, tan of x divided by square root of 2. Well, we don't know the value of x, right? We don't know that value of x. We, so to take the inverse of it, the best thing we can do is we can't find it on the unit circle because we don't know the value of x. So what we're going to have to do is just create another triangle. So what we need to do is remember what does the tangent represent when dealing with a triangle? Opposite over adjacent. So you say x over square root of 2. Now, the next thing I want to do is I need to evaluate for my hypotenuse because they're asking us to find the cosecant of that function, So, or the cosecant of this value. So to find the cosecant with our theta right here, so when I take the inverse tangent, I'm going to get a theta here. But if I want to find the cosecant of that theta, what I'm going to have to do is now find the hypotenuse. So simply what I'll do is say your leg squared plus your leg squared equals our hypotenuse squared. Okay? So now all we have is, um, so you could say 4, 2 plus x squared equals c squared, root both sides, and therefore you get c equals the square root of x squared plus 2. All right? So then we'll put square root of x squared plus 2. Now, if I want to find the cosecant, remember the cosecant is a reciprocal of sine. Sine means opposite over, I'm sorry, sine means, yeah, opposite over hypotenuse. So the cosecant is going to be hypotenuse over opposite. So therefore, hypotenuse over opposite is going to be the square root of x squared plus 2 over x. And that's just your final answer. Ta-da! And there we go. You guys don't seem really excited for that.